Welcome to Nursing Simplified, the smart way to survive nursing school. In today's episode, we are going to begin our brand new series on anatomy and physiology. Today, we're going to start with some a and basics about how we're made, also known as levels of organization. I would love for you to stick around for future videos. So take a moment to hit that subscribe button and let's dive in. The first thing that I want to talk about is what exactly does the term anatomy and physiology mean? Well, anatomy is all about form or the structure of living things, where physiology is about function. When looking at physiology, you'll be looking at the functions of cells and organs rather than how they're made. So anatomy is about how it's made and physiology is about how it works. Now we're going to talk about the levels of organization in the human body. In other words, how we are made or the anatomy of us. It all begins with happy little atoms. Atoms are the smallest units of matter. Examples of atoms are hydrogen and oxygen. And they're happy enough, but they can't help being attracted to other happy little atoms. And when those atoms bond together, they form molecules. Some examples of molecules include water and sodium or table salt. Water consists of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. And that is why it is written H2O. These molecules also like to hang out in groups. And when they get together, they form organelles, which are the microscopic subunits of a human cell. These include mitochondria, ribosomes, and cytoplasm. A bundle of organelles all working together inside of a membrane is called a cell. Our bodies are made up of over 37 trillion cells, and we have over 200 different types living in our bodies at any given time. Some examples of types of cells are bone, blood, nerve, muscle, fat, sperm, and egg. It's pretty amazing. As amazing as it is, that isn't where it ends. Cells also have an affinity for one another, and they like to get together in groups as well. When this happens, they create tissues. A tissue is a group of cells that have a similar shape and function. Different types of tissues can be found in different organs. In humans, there are four basic types of tissue, epithelial, connective, muscle, and nerve tissue. When groups of tissues get together, they form the next level, which are organs. Organs include the stomach, heart, and lungs. Most of our organs are made up of all four tissue types, and they're designed to perform specific functions. For example, the stomach is an organ whose special function is to break down the food we eat. Organs that work closely together are considered an organ system. Using the digestive system as an example, it wouldn't do us much good for the stomach to work so hard to break down the food we eat unless we had ways to use the nutrients to feed our cells and get rid of the waste. So organ systems are formed to work together to achieve a common goal. Finally, we move to the highest level of organization. When all the organ systems get together, they form an organism. An organism is a living being that's made up of cells and can independently perform all physiologic functions necessary for life. In humans, all cells, tissues, organs, and organ systems of the body work together to maintain the life and the health of the organism. So the organism is you and everything that's put together to make you. And now for a quick recap. Anatomy is about form or how things are made. And physiology is about function and how things work. 
Our body has eight levels of organization. It starts with atoms, then molecules, organelles, cells, tissues, organs, organ systems, and finally, you, the organism. And there you have it. Today we talked about how we are made and the levels of organization. The human body is amazing and we've only just scratched the surface. I hope you join me on the rest of our journey through anatomy and physiology. But for now, you are beautiful, you are needed, you are loved, you are strong, and most of all, dear friends, you are enough. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something, please take a moment to click that like button and subscribe to our channel because you don't want to miss what's coming next. Now go out there and be the amazing nurse you are meant to be. And remember, nursing is a work of heart. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.